Hmm? I think you've been burgled. Hmm? All the junk is missing from your room. And the thief left behind a memento. That's very amusing, Pavel. There's coffee being made and there's some uh, rushes there. Dad? Yes? I thought we decided you were going to try to be less of a control freak. I am. Just doing a little bit of spring cleaning. Packed lunch for the train. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. But um, there's been a change of plan. I'm not going away till next weekend. But I've got someone coming to stay. Who? Cleaning police? My friend Luke. Luke? Fantastic! I finally get to hear all your childhood secrets. I don't get it. He's here to see you. Have a laugh. He's not going to care if your house is as clean as your whistle. A whistle. I told you I'm not going away this weekend. Yes, you are. You don't want him to know about us, do you? There has never been the right time to tell him. Well, tell him now. No way. Why not? I don't know. I just, I don't feel like I'm ready to have that conversation with him yet. Are you ashamed of me? No, Pavel, of course. Are you ashamed of you? Okay. We grew up chasing girls together. All right? I was his wingman. So where does that leave me? I just want you to keep a low profile for a few days. Please. Okay. But you really should tell him for your own sake. Because I won't play along with this forever. You can't see me, I can't see you. <laughs> Please, Pavel, it's not like it's for good. It could be for good. But then we'd both be miserable. No, you would be miserable. And alone. I would leave you and find myself someone who appreciates me. Mike! Mike! <laughs> How you going? Um, sorry, this is, um, this is Pavel. He's, uh... He's the front of house manager. Nice to meet you, Pavel. I didn't think so. <laughs> Jim Pam's from your mum. <laughs> Deep down, she thinks we're ten years old still, isn't she? <laughs> so, Casanova, how come you don't want to hang around for this matchmaking party thing? Uh, because you're here, obviously. Oh yeah, you never let something like an old mate in town get in the way of a good time. <laughs> You got someone on the boil, have you? What? Really? Hmm? Jeff? Jeff, why, why are you being so secretive all of a sudden? I'm not being secretive. My name is Jeff. I'm a workaholic. Not tonight, though. Tonight we're going to have a good time. Come on. What? It's sus, that's all right. It's sus. Why are you standing around doing nothing? You got any idea what time it is? Everything's prepped, Chef. We're good to go. Oh, yeah? Um, fish pie. Done. Or well, the pork belly. Yep, yeah, it's done. Soup? Kidney? Profiteroles? Uh, done. Done and done. Okay, well, let's just say, for example, hypothetical situation, that I was going to be around tonight. Reckon you two could, uh, Oh, in my sleep, Chef. Everybody knows I'm the real talent room. <laughs> then fly, my pretties. You're on your own. Oh, Jane. Have a word? Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know a good lap dancing club. What? Yeah, I'm at work. I, I told you not to call me here. No, no, you're not to show up here. Amy.
What's the matter? I think I screwed up Pavel. Really badly. If you hurt Jojo, I will break both your legs. Shane, you watch this? You boys were right. It needs cognac. No. Oh. Close it now. When do you have a boyfriend? And not only that, not only that, but he has a kid. I am such an idiot. Did you know about this? Right now, I'm thinking we're not the best qualified team to be hosting a singles night. Well, I feel qualified. We are for equal opportunities here at Raw. Since when do we start hiring dwarves? I'm not a dwarf, I'm a child. And I don't work here. So what the hell are you doing here then? This is not a creche, Dylan. It is a gourmet restaurant for grown-ups. I promise she won't get in the way. Get in the way? She doesn't belong here, mate. She belongs knee-deep in a happy meal. I'm not allowed to ask food. Make the munchkin disappear. I mean it. Now, you stay in this spot. You don't make a sound. And you stay out of trouble. Can I breathe? No. Welcome to Raw. To one night stands, masquerading as love at first sight. Cheers. I want to show you something. And uh, who might this be? That's Claire. Mm -hmm. My fiance. Your fiance? Yes. You were getting married. Who would have thought? Me. Can you believe it? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I want you to be my best man. Thank you. It, uh, it means a lot. Um, I've actually got something to tell you hey, as well. Hey, the front of house guy over there keeps looking over at me. Oh. He's checking me out. He's totally checking me out. Uh, Bobby, can we get some uh, champagne here? We have to celebrate. Now what? Is it true you're going to a lap dancing club? Yes, it is true. You're treating me like I don't even exist. And you're putting too much pressure on me. Well, if it's all too much for us, what are we doing with each other? You know, for someone with such a mediocre grasp of the English language, sometimes you really hit the nail on the head. I don't know what that means. It means time out, Pavel. So I can't hurt your delicate little feelings, and you can't bore me with your pathetic whining. You don't want this anymore. Bingo. Welcome. 